She's an award-winning author. In an interview with the Media Line, Joyce Carol Oates opened up about one of her family's great mysteries, her grandmother Blanche Morgenstern's Jewish roots. Oates explored that revelation in her 2007 novel The Gravedigger's Daughter and says her grandmother played a key role in encouraging her to pursue writing. Her family came over like in the 1890s and I'm not sure when she was born but she never identified as Jewish so we we didn't know that. My father didn't really know that. I wrote a whole novel kind of to imagine what her life had been like and total denial of her background. Oates is in Israel for the first time to receive the prestigious 2019 Jerusalem Prize at the 7th International Writers' Festival. Oates is being honored for a lifetime of work. One of America's most acclaimed authors, she's also one of its most prolific, having published over 100 books in five decades. It's an extraordinary honor, a total surprise. It was very shocking in, in a wonderful way and I will always remember hearing about it. It's a high point in my, in my career. The writer's grandmother fled her native Germany in the 19th century due to growing persecution, a phenomenon Oates says she fears is rising in the United States as well. I don't understand anti-Semitism. I find it very, very distressing and upsetting. I do know that in the United States generally, apart from anti-Semitism, which is tragic, there's a rise in other kinds of violence and hate crimes. It's like this flood rising. Held in a picturesque Jerusalem neighborhood overlooking the old city, the festival is a celebration of all things literary. It welcomes leading Israeli and international authors. We're trying to bring, and we're succeeding hopefully, to bring the uh, most fresh and interesting voices from all over the world to be here to talk with their Israeli peers and colleagues. Up-and-coming author and LGBTQ activist Ahmed Dani Ramadan is also being featured at the event. Born in Syria in 1984, he was granted asylum in Canada in 2014. I grew up with the knowledge that my society, the religion of my family, my family all reject the, 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 the concept of homosexuality. But at the same time, that feeling of love towards somebody else was the most beautiful feeling that I had. Ramadan's first novel in English, The Clothes Line Swing, tells the story of two lovers and was inspired by his experience as a Syrian refugee. It was recently translated into Hebrew. Many tried to discourage Ramadan from traveling to Israel for the festival. There was a lot of pressure from people uh, about coming here to Israel. A lot of people asked me uh, not to do it. I think that I have critical opinions of the Israeli government specifically in their uh, human rights violations, but I don't have a very high horse to ride on when I'm coming from Syria, and the Syrian government is committing crimes against their own people. I don't represent anybody. I'm, I'm just myself. From Jerusalem, Maya Margit reporting for the Media Line.